Hello everybody, welcome back to Byzantium. In your opening of SLS4, we are playing our Pax Romana campaign. And last episode we only took three territories. Meh, okay. I guess it's a short peace timer with the Ottomans though. By short I mean eight years, that's fine. We're going to try and use this to our advantage. Um, we will fabricate claims on like every other territory we can. Um, Baloo seems like a good one to do that on. And then Katsmanu. In the meantime, time to gear up, as we have not been. We're going for three more troops. Um, we are Eastern. Shock is more pan punishing right now. Combat with is 25, which is exactly how much we have. Um, no, I want ideas. I think we get infantry combat event. No, we get discipline eventually. Okay. That's fine. We got time then. Let's take two more of you and one more of you. That puts us up to 24 and 1. That's pretty worthwhile. It's not going to really hurt the Ottoman army, but it will strengthen ours to do this. So, And then, do we want to look at another territory to fight? Like you being allied is annoying. Tresbon, you're only allied to them, though. So we could declare war on both of you. So let's start building a spider work on you. You don't want to be a vassal, though. That's the problem. Um, you would accept being an ally, but not a vassal yet. Okay. You're currently at war, but you're winning like crazy, so... No, actually, you're losing. Let's come back from Aragon for now. Um, can I do anything to keep the nobility from being that high? Take away a territory? That's officially correct. Let's take away Moria from them. It's going to piss them off, and I think they're going to need land after this. Your percentage of land is 19. Do you only need 15%? Oh, they only expect 15%. Okay. Then guess what? I don't feel too bad about doing that. I'm going to go ahead and grant you Monopoly Charters. I'm going to request an admiral from you. And I'm actually just going to ask you for money and then diplomatic support. This admiral should be in charge of the trade fleet, probably. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. <coughs> Got our last course started. We took a little bit of development, so it's not enough to kick the Ottomans out, but it's enough to punish them quite a bit. We're now about as strong as they are, so it's fine. If we take more territory, we might not be able to kick them out, but we can kick out like Poland or something. And by kick out, actually, we won't be kicking out anyone, we'll just be increasing our ranks. Which does help out our great power powers, so... Okay, please team up there. There you go. And we have to decide what we're going to do. Um, I would love to fight you, but Bohemia... Oh, wait, but Hungary would join me in this. So let's start fabricating on you, in fact. That seems like a good one to do. So what other missions do we have? We have to do reist. Um, no, it's triumph for the Balkans. I need to own Zeta. Okay, I need to own Ragusa, Zeta, and Dalmatia, which I don't have right now, but that's fine. Advancements of religions. I need a theologian. I want to do that as soon as I get the chance. <coughs> so much so that if I had a theologian right now, I'd probably hire him. Come to the clergy, and I'm going to request a theologian. And then let's do this. It's a waste of money, officially, but let's do it anyway. We will pass the Advancement of Religion Act. And then we'll immediately... Oh, I have to wait a month. Okay. Let's wait the month, and then we'll hire him. He'll help out, though, so I don't feel too bad. Okay. 
go ahead and pick you up again. That'll allow me to convert you pretty quickly now. Which is good. I got two missionaries. I might as well use them. Once you're done, I can state you. We do have our civil war coming, though. And it's really just our legitimacy that's tanking us. How is our heir? Is it worth abdicating the throne for him? No, because I don't even have enough even if I wanted to. <coughs> Either way, our king is pr pretty good, though. But if you die, our claim is only an average claim. That's annoying. We could probably handle it as long as they don't declare war on us. If I can get some claims for you, preferably that gold province, it would be in pretty good shape, I'd say. I want the burgers to be in charge of it, though, so... And I should fabricate as many claims as I can on you. Wait, I can't even fabricate claims on you. Yeah, stop building then. You would also not accept vassalization, but I'm wondering if that's just because you're so small. You don't really have that many cores. I'm assuming you have... Yeah, Georgian traditions. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Okay. <coughs> that's fine. Let's gear you up, though. So I don't necessarily want to give you back your territories, but I will take as many of these guys as I can. And if you want to head north and deal with Bohemia, I will give you back your territory as well. I mean, someone that's stronger doesn't really help me out too much here. At least not right now. But in the long run, I can see where it would. Um, now reduce trade investments, please. Let's go ahead and I'm guessing you're the state, but I'm not sure. The capital? Probably not, it's probably this one. It's fine though, Bulgaria is going to be a pretty good territory for us if we can get it. Probably don't want to automatically core it, but we'll be ready to. You. Don't really have very many allies. Florence, Savoy, the Knights. The Knights are really your only ally. Mantua and Mach and. Them will join you, but I don't really care. So Voy is really the only scary one, but we might be able to get away with that if I attack you. But I want Dalmatia, and that's scary, because I can't reach it right now. But we could take these two, maybe, and that could be worth it. Getting bigger over here makes sense for me right now, because I can't really go this way. So, Like, yeah, I should be working on reestablishing um, the Basilius. We still do have a lot of provinces we need to grab, but for now, we are working our way over there. And you, you still don't want to be a vassal, huh? No. If you get in a big enough war that you will not want to join, we can declare war on Cyprus from that. And with every war, the Ottomans get weaker and I get a little bit stronger. Um, Cesarea likes us or gain Diplo. Gain Diplo, please. Protestantism has become entrenched. Okay. Tunis is our rival. That's right, I forgot about that. It's been so long since I've assigned rivals or anything. <coughs> okay. A little bit of peacetime will help us out. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have a civil war almost no matter what happens. To be fair, we're so far ahead diplomatically, I don't think it really matters. We're going to take another idea, obviously, soon. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Caught Venice spying on us? How dare you? Really, we're only keeping the Mamluks around because, well, why not? Who has low opinions of us? Poland? Good relations with Poland, please. Hey, Serbia. I'm coming for Kosovo. I think that's a good enough reason to go to war. If we go a little bit over, it's not like anyone's really going to be upset over here. 
also not their provinces, so... Wallachia would probably be the most upset. And I could attack them, pull you in, and then attack Wallachia. If I so desire. It might be worth it. The problem I have with that is they might also take these territories. I'm going to give you back Corso. Let's go ahead and declare this war. Oh, I need to have someone back, obviously. I'll come back from Serbia. We're going to be declaring war. We can't actually make any goals there. Muscovy being in your war is annoying. We got France, so maybe they'll want to join us. I mean, I wish you would ally us, honestly. You'd marry us. That's funny. Okay. Bosnia Bohemia joins this war, but so will Hungary on our side. We're going to do this for the core of Kosovo. Let's go. Why would I declare this war? Well, Austria is also going to be joining us, so it makes sense to do so. Honestly. Wow, we actually did lose, but we actually just, oh shoot, we got caught there. 18, come on. No, my freaking trade ships. Come on, get away. Oh, my trade ships. My poor, poor trade ships. Uh, get another freaking transport, please. We should have put our ports, our guys over here, though. Hey, Austria. Glad to see you've uh, joined the party. <coughs> I don't necessarily need to declare war on you, but it wouldn't be a bad thing to do so. I don't really care if you all join me. It's like this battle just keeps getting longer and longer because we keep reinforcing it, but it's fine. I should have made sure that army was not there. Did Bohemia not join? No, oh, Bohemia joined. They're on their way. Box. Let's get you back to the capital, please. They're also here helping us. Switzerland is taking over control of all these. Hungary is taking control of that, annoyingly. You're not going to let me expand this way, are you? Not easily. Those 22 want to sit in pass, that's fine. I'll deal with them up there instead of trying to take all this land for me. <laughs> now, it could just be that they're taking it because I don't have a border with them, and that does make sense, but... It's also annoying if that does make sense. Bosnia did war reps, but nothing else. That was stupid of you. You should have pieced them out for everything they had. At least in my mind, you should have. This is a good little war to fight, though. It gets us a little bit stronger if we can get that gold province. Um, gets Bohemia a bit weaker, which is always fun. Um, keep our rank. We must remain ahead of Denmark, which is 275. Our current rank is 303. That's fine. I'm hoping to use this to get ahead of the Ottomans. Or to stay ahead of the Ottomans. Speaking of being ahead of stuff. How's our culture doing? Or our stuff here. They've embraced it. I'm almost positive at this point. Yeah, and you're starting to accept it, which is good. Yeah, nearby ports with that. That'll help out your expansion on this. Which means once you've embraced it, you should expand it from here. That gets them to get it, and then if we're friendly towards Naples, which we kind of are, we don't want to remain too friendly with these guys, but I can't also fight them right now. They're allied of France, so. Yeah, when I break this freaking country, that's going to be an interesting war. Yo, Bohemia, come on. You should be able to win. Where the hell are all the Austrians? Are they all sitting here in Nice trying to help out with the siege? Yeah, they basically are. I apologize. 
Serbia. I can't take anything because I put away all my people. I put them away, I mean I sent them off to go do jobs. I need 55 to fabricate on you. Important naval supplies. Nah, get mercantilism, please. I don't want freaking Ottomans. The Ottomans like us a bit. Ooh, who cares? They're the damn Ottomans. They're our rivals from Time Immortal. Time Immemorium, actually, not Time Immortal. Alright, well, you'll have enough armies that you should be able to win this pretty easy if you so decide to. It looks like they've retreated back to their lands, so that's good. Tin has been converted. We've won the Siege of Nice also, by the way. Get the Koskovo. Um, Tin has been converted. Let's keep converting. <coughs> Don't really see the point not to convert. Um, Austria, get up there. You're not going to give me this, huh? <coughs> hey, old Bosnia. Come back from Poland right now. We're good. Although, man, we can improve relations a lot with them. The war goes under our control. Move to Zeta, please. I'm going to sue you for peace. You will peace out. We've won the siege of their capital. Good. I want you to... I don't really don't care if you do anything. Give me war reps? No, you won't even give me that. You just really just want a little bit of peace, but we'll take it. White piecing out Bosnia gives us a short peace deal. I do plan to get a border with them, which is why I'm trying to get them to be close to piecing out. Um, I think we need to come more infantry down there. At least six, right? Let's take three of you. Go there. <coughs> you need to fight these guys. Like, I don't care how you do it, but do it so I can piece them out. I don't want to eat all of you, but I do want to take at least these three, maybe, and give back these two to you, which will make you strong, them weak. And that's always a good thing for our, our allies. Strengthening your allies, at least right now, while you're still kind of small, makes some sense, officially, at least in my mind. Maybe overall it's like, what are you doing? Why would you ever ally or make them stronger? But for now, at least, I need to. It becomes a necessity. Where are you heading? You're going to stay in their capital? Let's not move in then. Let's stay in the territory they want. Let's keep converting, though. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I mean, this guy is a siege leader. Putting him somewhere where he's actually able to do some stuff would be good. No, damn it. I didn't mean to move you. Um, however, what I could do is take one of these infantry, pull them off. Grab the siege leader. He'll add about seven points, but it's something. I'll take a quick drink of water, guys. Or soda, in this case. We could really use some more soldiers, more military points. Very nice. Hardy seamen, okay. <clears throat> Hungary might want to peace out after this. That'd be annoying if they do. Serbia, though, I kind of just want this. And you give me this now. Would you give me Raska? No. Now you would. Is that going to cause any issues? Just the Ottomans. Okay. Give me that. I didn't give him anything, but to be fair, I didn't need to, so... Doing so is fine. Let's raise autonomy in these provinces, at least for now. I know that makes me, basically makes our gold province useless for now. We'll core all three of you. We could have taken an idea for stability there, maybe. I have to assume that's probably what that was trying to warn me of. Um, let's just get down here and we'll worry about making y'all state soon enough. But for now, we've got an even stronger. And we do have a looming disaster that's going to pop, like, right now. <sighs> Unfortunately. Serbia is no longer a valid arrival. That's fine with me. 
We've lost conquest against Serbia. We've gained cleansing of heresy, though. <clears throat> and we want to deal with these rebels. That's the rebel scum. I really don't want to rival Venice. I would rather rival the Ottomans. Because that'll give us some more score to work with. And also makes everyone that hates them like us. Start building a spy network on you. Let's come back from you. Let's fabricate a claim on... I don't really want to fabricate a claim there. Like, Sinop should be our next claim. Honestly, to get over here in the Eastern Black Sea. Pretender Rebel. It's not a fight I really want to take on right now, but we're going to do it. I was going to say, it shouldn't really hurt our... It's going to hurt our army. Ooh, that'll help, though. For the next five years, yeah. Assuming we're at in civil war for that long, yeah, that'll help. <clears throat> Come on, win this battle, please. And what's our issue with civil war again? It's legitimacy, isn't it? Ooh, we got a siege ability guy. Come here. Stack white, pretty easy. Oh no, that wasn't. That's just because it paused. Okay, you're gonna come back. Let's just not have you seeding that. But then, huh? Bulgaria, please. Oh, is that the capital? Well, that makes me feel bad about that, but oh well. Let's go ahead and start you off. Could make you cores. I mean, it does make sense to do this, but honestly, we should wait. <coughs> and and we should. Well, maybe we shouldn't wait because we could use the points. Yeah. Even if right now we don't use it to our advantage, getting these we're going is better than probably getting the stability idea. Although the next one is pretty damn good, the divine supremacy. Do we take garrisons? Is that something we want? Is that something we want right now, more importantly, I guess? Yeah, the Bulgarians really want to pop, huh? How pissy would you be? 25,000 troops? That's a lot of troops. Honestly. Uh, shift consolidate you. We're losing money, huh? Let's pull you in. You can go back to protecting trade, though, in Ragusa or wherever. It's not enough to make us money, though. Let's mothball Constantinople for now. That should be enough to make us money this month. Yeah, it's really, uh, really painful right now, but we're trying to do something. Let's not flounder around with lack of money. This is not really the time to be converting these countries, but oh well. Yeah, you know, Poland, if y'all want to fight them, go ahead. But for now, I can't really help it. Then you... We have enough favors, that's not really an issue. If I wanted to declare war on you, with you. Same thing with you. <clears throat> Genoa no longer considers me a rival. That's good to know. I still consider you a rival, though. Don't really have allies, so attacking you now would also be a good thing. But we're also riding on the back of... Uh, that's annoying. And we're taking that alone. That's even more annoying. Alright, support one side. we have access to you? We should. Do we really not have military access with one of you? Ask for military access? Really? Ask an offer here. Over there, please. Uh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. Ooh, hang on. That is serious. That's more serious than over there. Turn around, please. 
Can we get over there before they pop? Also get conscripted garrisons. That'll help. Means our garrison can be a little bit bigger. That's about it. Granted, generalship just went away. Annoying, but true. This is serious. Let's go. Empire runs on paper. Thank you for the admin. Can I do something like this? Not yet. I need a couple more points. Well, I'm willing to accept the fact I need points. That's fine. I say, assuming you're just running to our dean. Yeah, it's going to be a painful freaking civil war, but we knew that would be true. It's a good thing we started repopulating the countryside, huh? You're still running? Okay, get them, please. I know it's not 10 to 1 numbers, and they keep recovering. Ah, shoot. Hang on. Wait till we're there. And why do I have a fort over here? Other than, well, I guess it makes sense. Okay. Go away, please. Were you costing me that much money? Uh, support one side. God, these freaking rebels, man. They are utterly painful to fight. We need so much more legitimacy. It's not going to be a stack wipe. Damn it. Hang on. Yeah, but I need troops. I mean, I can't really afford not to fight with troops here anymore. And there's not that many of them left, that is true, but... We're also going to need mercs, or actually manpower, so... Man, Bulgaria really wants to pop too. That's going to be an issue, I think. I think no matter what, that's going to be an issue. These guys are just giving us a hard time. Let's move in. That's the latest, thankfully, grasslands. We will not be... Well, we might be doing a river crossing. In fact, it looks like that's true. Ugh. I don't like either one of these. Let's lose this. It makes the clergy a little bit more loyal, at least. Cry for help. Rely on our own strength. We can't even kill these bastards if we're trying right now. Stack weapon, please. Oh, man. Sounds like the nobility less loyal to us, huh? We can't kill these bastards. To be fair, there is two armies, so I guess that doesn't make sense. But come on. There we go. Finally. Lithuania wants help. You know what, Lithuania? Sure, we will join you in this war. It's a stupid war. You should not be declaring it, but I'm going to join you. Maybe they'll take care of our rebels. Who knows? If you're going to a capital fort, I'm fine with that. Or not to a capital fort, but if you're going to a fort, I'm fine with that. Keep shift consolidating a bit. How many Bulgarians are we going to have? 18,000. No, 18,000. Yeah, that's right. Why? Because we have so much unrest due to this damn civil war. Oh, this proved legitimacy would be nice. Let's keep reinforcing. We're going to take out another loan. I guess that's fine. Burgess has already re done that. That's fine. 
Come here. Yeah, we need to take out another loan. Oh boy, guys, this is painful. See? And the bad news is we're currently at War 2, which is also not good. That's going to have to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to be, I guess, fighting with Lithu on behalf of Lithuania on this side. Um, however, what we are going to need to do, and this is honest to goodness, we need to take care of this damn civil war. We're making gains, but we're still a long way off. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.